Let's talk about measurement. When we measure something, we compare some known standard unit to the thing we want to measure. So let's look at this corridor right here. Let's look at the width. I have a handy two meter stick here. If I turn it over, you see it goes all the way up to 200 centimeters. But I'll use the inches for now. So I have the standard, which is marked off in inches, which are a standard unit. We'll mostly be using SI units in this course, but inches are okay. So what I've measured right here is 78, and it doesn't quite fit. So let's do this. I'm going to put the 78, well, it's actually 79 uh, inch mark on that edge right there. And then I'm going to mark off where it stops, and I'm going to move this and see how many additional inches I have. I'll call that 17, although it's probably a little bit less. So the total width of this corridor is going to be 79 inches plus 17 inches equals 96 inches if I've done the math right. Now, here I'm using a standard called inches, but I can also use a standard here which is called tiles. These tiles are all about nine inches wide. And if I look right there, you see this is a standardized length for tiles. And so if I count how many tiles, I have almost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that I'll call about a half. So this distance here is equal to 10.5 tiles. Now, if I originally measured this in tiles and I wanted to get it in inches, the next step would be to convert. And to convert a number like this, I'm going to multiply by 1. Now, that doesn't change things, does it? But now I'm going to rewrite 1 as a fraction. And I'm going to write something on top, and I'll write something that's equivalent on the bottom. I want to get rid of the units of tiles. One tile is equal to nine inches. And so this is going to be uh, a little bit of work here. 94.5, whoops, units cancel. So this is about 94.5 inches. Now, there's some disagreement here. And we can chalk that up to the precision with which we did the measurement.